Hey guys, this is the Raspberry Pi Noir camera, um, the, the V2, and um, yeah, so it's basically a regular Raspberry Pi camera, except that it does not have an IR filter, so it can it can just pick up more light, and um, if you illuminate something with an IR LED, you, you'll basically be able to see in the dark. Um, so, so we're basically just going to do a quick unboxing of this. I mean, you, you see here it's already unboxed, but I'm going to cut away to where I unbox it and show you what comes in, in the box, which is not a whole lot more than what you see here. I'm also going to show you how to uh, plug in the <clears throat> the ribbon cable into the DSi port and get everything connected up. Then we're going to show you some quick demos. We're going to connect the Pi to a... Well, we're, we're going to connect to it, and we're going to uh, show you how to... Um, the Pi itself will be connected to a monitor, and we're, we're just going to show you how to, you know, take pictures from the command line and how to record videos and stuff like that. But we're not going to go into too much depth from the software side. Um, th this is just initial testing and me using the commands for the first time. So it's just a really quick demo of that that part of it. And um, we're, we're going to go into more depth with, into, you know, what you can do with this camera and other Raspberry Pi cameras coming up in, in future videos. So you'll, you'll probably want to stay tuned for that. And, um, yeah, so that's, that's, um, yeah, I guess that's basically it to start. Um, I mean, you, you can, you can see, um, uh, that this camera has like a, a dark PCB where the, the default Raspberry Pi camera is a green PCB. And, um, other than that, um, let, let's just jump into the unboxing portion, I guess. All right, so here it is in the box, and uh, we're gonna open this up in just a sec. So let's see here. Oh, and th this this is the Raspberry Pi we're gonna connect it to. We have already got it connected to a monitor, and we've got power and a keyboard and everything already connected. So let's see what we have here in the box. All right, so it comes with a manual. Um, it comes with a manual, a DSI, uh, or rather CSI ribbon cable, and uh, the actual camera itself. And it looks like, uh, I'm actually not sure offhand, I should probably check on this, but uh, I, I believe that's actually an IR filter that comes with it in case you wanted to add that functionality. I, th I think that that's what that little square piece was in there. I, I don't think I actually take that out in this video. So any, anyways... We're going to show you how to plug this in and, and get it connected up. So you'll, you'll, you'll see the ribbon cable is already connected to the camera. And right now all we have to do is connect it to the CSI port. So that slot in the middle of the Pi, here you're going to see we're going to plug it in there. That's the CSI port um, for cameras. And the other port near the end of the Pi is the DSI. And the, you can connect a display through that which we did in our, our other uh, touchscreen video. So you're, you're gonna wanna pull this little rubber thing. See how I'm pulling that little rub, rubber thing up? That's what basically keeps the cable securely secured in place. So we pull it out so that you'll, um, you know, basically opens it up so that you can slide this in. And um, no, note the orientation of this, uh, of the ribbon cable, you have to have the have it facing in the correct way. Um, I think you could potentially actually even damage the camera and maybe the Pi if you plug it in backwards. But um, I haven't verified if that's actually the case, but I, I've heard that that could be an issue. So yeah, slide it in until it's nice and um, you know firmly in place there. It should basically go all the way down, and then you're gonna want to put your you know, put your fingers on the sides here and just push that little rubber thing back in place. And that's basically going to kind of clamp down on it and just secure the, the cable in place. One, once it's there, you should theoretically be able to even lift up the the pie by the, you know, obviously gently. But you'll, you'll, you could lift the pie up by the cable and it should be able to support at least the weight of the pie. So see, see how we did that there? Basically just like that. So you should be able to do that. It should be nice and secure. All right, and just in case it comes off, um, like this is, this is how the cable is oriented. You can, you can tell the different sides of the cable pretty quickly by, um, you know, basically one side has exposed pins and the other side, oh, and here we, we pulled a little plastic thing off the camera. You're gonna wanna remember to do that. 
Um, yeah, and so one, one side of the cable is blue and one side of the cable has the pins exposed. So you, you can tell them apart that way. All right, so here we are, we, we have it connected to a monitor and um, it, it, it's actually, um, like you see how the screen kind of looks messed up, you see all those waves on it. That's actually not how it looks um, if, if you were looking at it directly with your eyes, but the, the camera does that. And I haven't actually found a way yet to, um, I'm not sure if people have another way of doing this, but anytime I record a screen, you know, an actual monitor with a camera, it just comes out looking terrible in the video. And I don't have any screen capture software on the Pi at the moment. So um, this is what we have. Anyways, you, you'll go into your, your Pi configuration tool like you saw from the, the menu there. And um, so we're, we're going to enable the camera. So it, it is going to be under interfaces here. And you, you, you can see right there, we have SSH, we have the camera. In this case, camera is what we need to enable. Um, you can see we have a bunch of other stuff there too that's kind of irrelevant to what we're doing. So we can go right ahead and reboot it just to make sure. And so here we are booted back into the Pi. Um, you, you can see in the text editor on the side there we have a few commands we're going to try out. So um, this is far from being any actual kind of guide or tutorial on how to use the Raspberry Pi camera from the desktop or, or you know, at, at all. But um, anyways, we're, we're going to show where there's a command called Rasby still you can run. You can basically take a, basically just snap a picture with the camera, whatever it's pointing at. It's going to take a picture, and you will be able to save that to your desktop. So that's that's the screenshot it took. It's basically just the camera pointing up, taking part of my wall, part of my window, and part of my my uh, ceiling. Um, And here we can specify an actual size. Here it's pointing at a stack of books and a PC. And um, yep, there we go. It saved an image to our desktop. So we basically specify like the image name and, and where we want it saved. So here we're running Raspbian vid to record some video. And it basically just automatically switched to like a full screen thing recording the video. So it's some interesting behavior how these, these two commands actually work. But here we go. We, we can play back that video that re we recorded. So we can successfully record videos and take pictures. So next thing we, we might want to try this, um, at least we're going to try another video, but eventually we're going to try, um, I, I have a Python script we can test out. So this is whatever junk I happen to have on my desk at the, at the time. Got that recorded and it should give us yet another video. So there we go. So here we're running the Python interpreter. So we're just going to paste in each line of what would be a script. You could also just run this as a script if you wanted. But we're just going to run this directly from the Python interpreter, just as a quick demo here. And that's that's about it for today. Um, I didn't continue on with any more of the testing. 
un- unfortunately. Um, but uh, yeah, this was kind of an incomplete test. This is just, I, I've had this video here. I wanted to do like a full tutorial on every feature of the camera that possibly exists and, and set up some, some infrared lights and stuff, but I, I had not done that. And I did want to get what I have recorded out so far. And I'm definitely planning on yet another video where we're going to cover all the details of the camera, uh, maybe c- compare it to some of the other Raspberry Pi cameras. And um, I, we'll, we'll see what else we can cover, but definitely we're going to have um, more interesting videos coming up after this. So um, that's it for today. We'll see you guys next time.